<laughs> Welcome to the David Podcast. Once again, for the power of the internet. How are you guys today? Um, I'm sorry. I haven't been filming lately. It's just been very busy weekend. I've had a lot to do working and and uh it's just been a chaotic week between work and and everything I had to do this weekend. Um basketball and practice and you know, I had a lot to do last this last couple of weeks and I'm sorry I haven't been filming. But here I am today for another video. I know you guys wanted to see the, the Special Olympics stuff. I promise I will bring that to you as soon as I can this this week. I have a tournament and I will film some of that for you guys. I promise I'll film the award ceremony, everything. I'll film me in my uniform, everything for you guys. I'm going to do the WrestleMania stuff for you. I'm going to do the WrestleMania review for you. I promise all that. I'm going to do all that stuff for you guys. I'm going to do the podcast, everything. Um, I thought today... We're not going to talk about Special Olympics. We're not going to talk about wrestling. I thought today, because I I love Jesus, and I know there's a lot of things that we talk about, and I love God and everything, I thought we'd talk about something that really tragic happened. I, I heard on the news. There was a shooting recently. I thought we'd talk about that today. There was a shooting recently in Nashville, Tennessee, some people were killed, and it was a Christian school, and it was about gun violence again on the news. Um, I thought we'd talk about that today. I don't know how many times I've heard this, and how many times President Biden has talked about it over and over again gun violence. Um, I'm not saying people have a right to bear arms. They do. This is the United States. We all have a right to bear arms. I understand that, and I know this is, that, that that is the right. Cops have a right to bear arms. Hunters have a right to bear arms. I understand all that stuff. I'm not getting into that. But who in their right mind has a right to bear arms with a semi-automatic automatic rifle. If you're not certified, you shouldn't be carrying a gun. And if you're not mentally stable, why would people in gun shops, why would people in gun shops sell people these guns if they're not mentally stable? Tell me, who in their right mind would do that? It's this, this world has come to, from what I see on the news every day, and I see it every day, violence. Every day with guns. We do have a right to bear arms. This is our country. This is our constitution. I understand all that. President Biden see, says that a lot. But when I see this, and I hear Biden talk about it 25,000 times, it's like hitting a brick wall and he's not getting anywhere. Our president's not getting anywhere. He's not. Even Trump wouldn't even get anywhere if he, well, Trump doesn't even care. He doesn't even really give a damn. But, because Trump doesn't care. He, he, he supports guns. But what I'm saying is, you have a right to bear arms if you're a hunter, if you're a police officer, if you're a Marine. That's the right thing because they're trained. They know how to use guns. Okay, if you're a hunter, that's fine. You can you can have a gun. If you're a cop, you can have a gun. You're you're trained. You're you're trained. You're a trained guy. You know how to use a rifle or a gun. And you're in the army. You know how to use a gun. But if you're not trained and if you're not certified, you shouldn't be having a freaking gun, especially a automatic or a rifle or a flamethrower. I mean, give me a break. People are selling people guns. I mean, this this person had sedimonic auto rifles walking into a school, killing little kids. Teachers. Little kids. 
And this is a Christian school. Little kids that are probably about six, seven years old. Not even that. It, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And I'm sitting here wondering why. Hearing Biden talk about it and freaking Congress doesn't do anything about it. They sit there and they support this and they don't do a darn thing about it. Our freaking Republicans don't do a damn thing about gun violence. Are you kidding me? If you're trained, that's fine. Use it. If you're not trained, don't buy it. Excuse me. Sorry. I mean, have a brain. Really, have a brain in your head. I mean, parents are fr afraid to send their kids to school. I don't blame them after they see that on the freaking news every day. Kids getting shot. It's crazy. Our world's going crazy. I can imagine how Jesus feels every day. He sees all this and everyone's getting killed and everybody's getting shot at every day. Gun violence is a serious thing in our country today. It's worse than COVID. Another school shooting. Another one. In Nashville, again. We just had one a year ago. Let me shut my windows because people are listening. Sorry, Max. We just had one a year ago. It's crazy. Our world. Sorry, babe. Our world is coming to violence. It, it just is. It, this is a topic I wanted to cover. Our world is coming to violence. Guns. I'm not saying that people have a right to be around as they do if you're trained. That's my opinion, okay? I don't want people taking this out of context. I really think President Biden's doing a good job as our president. He's done a great job. I'm sorry, I, I have to say that. I just don't really think that he's He's not trying hard. He's trying so hard, but Congress ain't freaking budging to stop this. But President Biden's got to understand that this, there is, this is the right. This is the United States. There is a constitution that says we have a right to bear arms. That's just the way it goes. Hunters have a right to carry a rifle because they hunt. Cops have a right to bear arms because they're police officers. They have to protect themselves every day from people that carry guns. And then you have the army who has the right to bear arms because they have to fight every day on the field to protect us. That's okay. That's the right thing to do. Then you carry rifles and guns. But you don't sell a gun to a mentally ill person I'm not getting into what this person is because I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into that. I don't care about all that. I don't care because I'm not, I'm not racial. But you don't sell guns to a person that has a problem. You don't sell guns to a mentally ill person. You don't sell guns to a person that doesn't have, that's not mentally stable. You don't. 
Because that person is going to go out and start shooting people. And then people get killed. You're a gun shop owner. Don't you have, don't you freaking know what you're selling? You got gun shop owners selling, selling, cinematic, automatic rifles, machine guns that they use in the army. You got to be freaking kidding. That's freaking crazy. That's freaking insane. Why? Why are you selling that in your store? To a mentally stable person. An unstable person that's going to go out and show people what up. Here, here's your gun. Go out and have fun. Yeah, I'll have fun with it when I start shooting people. No wonder why they don't sell cap guns anymore. Freaking ridiculous. Well, it's gone crazy. Sorry. Well, it's gone crazy. Really has. I don't get it. Gun shop owners are doing this. Gun shop owners of all people. I don't understand it. I really don't. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't get this world. What it's coming to. It's crazy. You know? It's a cat. But I know, I know you guys want her videos, but I don't feel like chasing her. But, you know, it, it's just the world is crazy. You know, you guys want to see the kitty? Well, she's eating right now. Maybe she'll jump up. Hey, well, come say hi to YouTube. Come here. Come here. Want to say hi? Oh, I scared her. Hold on a minute. I spooked her a little. Let me see if I can get her, guys. Spooked her a little bit. I don't want to hit you back on that thing there. Come on. There we go. I got gotcha. you. Want to say hi? Well, there she is. Turn to the camera, okay? And say hi. Well, it's the kitty, guys. She came back for another video. Was that a Paula? Say hi, say hi, mommy. <laughs> well, there she is, babe. Hey, okay, okay. I know you want to go. So you guys remember Maxie? She's camera shy. This is the wireless sister, the kitty. Huh? Yeah. You a 
and playing with the birds? Uh huh. All right, go ahead. You want to go? But gun violence is a serious thing in our country, and it's got to stop. And I don't know. So Congress has got to pass that bill. And President Biden's tried everything in his power. Our world is coming to, a, to being crazy every day. Every day we see kids dying. Gun violence is a serious thing in our world. I hope Congress passes that bill and we get this settled, you know? All right, I'm going to go now because I got to go to work. I'm going to pray for the victims and then I'm going to go. Heavenly Father, today we pray for those victims that died in Nashville, Lord. Lord, we pray for the victims, Lord. We hope their families are, are okay, Lord. We hope that you touch the families, Lord, of the victims that died in that shooting, Lord. It's awful, Lord, what happened yesterday at that school, Lord. Lord, we hope that you're with those families that lost loved ones. We hope you're with them, Lord. We hope that you're touching them, Lord, and keeping them safe, Lord, and just helping them from this difficult time, God. God, I hope you touch Congress and let them change this law of gun violence, Lord, and just touch them, Lord. Let them know that this has got to stop, God, this violence in the world. And, Lord, just touch everyone in the world that this is wrong, God. And, Lord, I hope you trust touch everyone in the world, God, even the president, Lord, to keep guiding him for this word that he's trying to stop. Keep guiding Biden, Lord, and just ask him to, to keep preaching to stop the violence, Lord. And Lord, touch everyone in this world, God. Lord, we want the violence to stop, and we want this world to be a better place for your image and your love to spread over the world. And we want your word to continue to be on our lips every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget, put Jesus first. And don't forget the victims in Nashville, Tennessee. Bye for now. Say a prayer for those guys, guys. Thank you.